everyone, Jade's Mansu here bringing you yet another video. Now I have a confession to make. I love fashion. Nova. I love Fashion Nova. Oh my gosh. I recently discovered Fashion Nova about a few months ago. I was searching the internet for just things I could buy little throwaway costumes for for my channel since I don't feel like making clothes all the time. I've been making clothes for the past four years. Sometimes you just want to lay back and wear something fabulous that you don't have to sew yourself. And that's when I discovered Fashion Nova. <laughs> Thank you, Cardi B. Now, I have to say, it is truly, truly addictive. It's so affordable. And there's always a coupon code, and it's just like, I can't help it. I had to buy it. So, I'm going to show you some of the clothes that I've acquired over the months. And yes, this title is absolutely true. No clickbait here. I spent over $500 at Fashion Nova. Not all at once. Not all at once. I didn't win Drag Race, so I don't got that kind of bankroll coming in. I did buy these over a period of time and I did use coupon codes because Fashion Nova loves those. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Please sponsor me, oh my gosh. So without further ado, let me show off some of the costumes I acquired from Fashion Nova. Now you can't tell from the video because I'm smiling my head off, but this dress is super, super tight. It's cutting off all my circulation. This one is a tropical dress that I bought that's also a size smaller than what I normally wear, but it's super stretchy. I love it. The only downside is it rides up so far that you always see my crotch and I don't wear underwear. This one's a simple red dress. It's a perfect dynasty inspired dress. The best dress to tackle somebody into a lily pond. This is a red velvet dress I bought for Christmas time. The perfect holiday dress to get you feeling like a ho, ho, ho. Now this one I wasn't too crazy about. I needed a black dress for my Elvira makeup tutorial. This dress walks that fine line of being matronly and being way too revealing all at the same time. This dress should not work, but it totally does. On any other woman, it would be totally heinous, but on a drag costume, oh my God. My only complaint is it has this weird slit in the stomach area that I'm probably just gonna sew shut. I don't know what it's for. I think it's to let your boobs breathe or something. This dress I bought on a whim. I was thinking it would be a new interesting silhouette for myself, but when I got it, it was really, really large for me. Every drag queen needs a simple sequin club dress. It is simple, it's sparkly, and it gets the job done. Only negative is you have to wear short hair with it because it will eat all of your wigs. This cat suit's also an example of how the smaller sizes sometimes work out in your favor if they don't have your size. The print reminds me of the later scenes of Velvet Buzzsaw where the girl gets trapped in the wall. Another great dynasty style dress. It's neoprene, so it's really, really stiff. But I love the silhouette on it. It says, I own 50% of this company. And I'm in love with this cat suit. It totally screams like comic book villain, like I'm gonna kidnap Wonder Woman's boyfriend and hold him ransom. And this outfit I totally bought because I wanted to live that Rena Miro Sable fantasy. I mean, it's really tight and I can hardly move, but I'll be damned if I don't feel like Sable in this outfit. Now, I wore this outfit at a viewing party and I got so many compliments. Honestly, the most compliments I've ever gotten on a costume I've worn, which as a seamstress has done wonders for my self-esteem. And these last couple are what I call lazy dresses. This is my, I don't feel like wearing a breastplate today kind of dress. Bow not included. I love this dress and this mustard colored dress. It's very, here you come again, just when I was about to make it work without lube. Oh yeah, and I forgot about this dress. This one I got at a bargain rate because some of the front is missing. This is from the Halloween collection. I wore this in Queens of the Ring. The perfect outfit for reviewing wrestling or simulating a live sex act in front of a paying crowd. Welcome back. <laughs> Weren't those adorable? Oh my gosh. Now I also bought shoes from Fashion Nova because as you folks know, I was partial to a biscuit basket. <laughs> so I decided to upgrade it a little bit and add straps to my, you know, open-toed heels. These are my, what I call a classic drag dance heel because they can take a beaten and they're really, really sturdy straps. I got it in golden black. You know, just replenishing the shoe bank. And I have to say, Fashion Nova has made me a braver woman. It's true. I've been trying out all sorts of different fashions I normally would not try out for myself. I even tried out new shoe fashions. Look at this. I got some big white long boots, like go-go boots, you know, leader of the pack. And these ones, which I haven't quite found the look for yet, but look at that design. It's so cool. I have to make a costume for that so I can wear it out. It's very Barbarella, you know? 
And they also were stretched, so it works on my big wide calves, which is one of the reasons why I don't normally wear boots because it's really hard to find wide calf boots in big sizes. I am a very, very soft size 11. And I thought it'd be safe to try it out at Fashion Nova because they're usually on sale and with a coupon code, it's even less expensive. So if it doesn't fit me, it doesn't hurt my heart as hard. And maybe I can give it to a drag queen in me that's a, you know, a shoe size smaller than me. Or maybe try to find a way to cut my foot smaller. But they do work for me and I am absolutely pleased with them. In conclusion, I do love the costumes I got from Fashion Nova. Not all of them, but most of them have worked for me. Like, especially these guys here. I wear them all the time when I don't feel like wearing my breastplate. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be aware of every time I upload a new video. <gasps> and I have style wigs available. It's true. Go to www.jamesmansfield.com slash store and look around at my catalog of lovely luscious wigs like this lovely lady like here ooh look at her is that dolly parton <laughs> or this wild and pink gal look at her makeup oh my gosh just imagine how many christina aguilera numbers you can do in hair <laughs> link in the description and until next time bye <laughs> click here and see me try out the elvira mistress of dark palette or learn an easy trick for a do-it-yourself wig oven. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll tell Ryan Murphy to make the next American Horror Story about your dating life. So click it.